Hello everyone, and in this video I am drawing Sebastian from Black Butler. Get some things out of the way first. Never seen Black Butler in my life. I know almost nothing about it. This is actually a Christmas present I did for my sister. She's the one who likes Black Butler. I have no opinion on it because I've never seen it. So there's that. The second thing is, the lighting in this video is terrible. This will be the second video that has terrible lighting because I was traveling. I was coloring this over Christmas Eve and I went to my grandmother's house to visit the family and have Christmas dinner. So the lighting's a bit terrible. All I had with me was my aunt light, which is kind of small. Not very good light source, but it's better than nothing. And I was able to record my video on the go. So there's that. Actually used some new colors I got for Christmas. Or so some new markers, I should say, that I got for Christmas. I got a 48 pack of Blick Studio brush markers. So I used a few of those. Unfortunately for this one, this artwork I actually needed a bunch of grays and the set only came with one gray I think yeah I think it was only one gray so I had to make do with what I had unfortunately gray was pretty light so I had a layer and layer and layer the gray a bit so it had to work right for me as you can see right here the gray kind of sticks out like a sore thumb against the black, but I really didn't have a whole lot of other options to highlight the black hair. So I just made do with what I had, trying to blend it in as best I can. And eventually, I'm, for the jacket, I'm pretty sure I used black and a brownish red. I don't remember the name of the color, but it was like a brownish red. I'll talk about it more when I get to it. So, just a simple little chibi drawing. Again, I think I said in a previous video that I didn't have a whole lot of time to make these drawings. I waited to the last minute and I did these on Christmas Eve. And I needed them done by tomorrow, so yeah, I had to do something small and quick that I can get done in time. And here I'm actually coloring in my jacket. I can't tell what color that is. It is a brownish red. It's actually a really pretty color. I really like it a lot. So I use that as a highlighting color. It actually came out really nice. I wish I kept using that as a highlight color for the clothes. I know I go back to gray for the pants. I kind of wish I didn't do that, but it's a little late now. Nothing I can do about it. It happens though. You can kind of tell that this is a very different recording setup for me because you can see my hair sneaking in towards the bottom of the frame or towards the side, I guess. Kind of just popping it and saying hello. <laughs> really couldn't do a whole lot about that. I had this really small table I had a color on. Yeah. Oh well. Just ignore my blonde hair getting in the way. I purposely made this video much shorter because I, I... I don't know what to talk about. I usually just ramble on about certain topics, but I don't know anything about Black... Black... Butler. So I can't ramble on about it. So that means I actually have to talk about my drawing. And I'm running out of things to say, so... Woo! Fantastic. Anyway, for here... Using the gray again as highlights. And again, the gray's a bit too light. Compared to the black, so... It gives a very sharp contrast, which is not what I was going for. Didn't really want that at all. But a bit more subtle. 
That's why I like using the red more, because the red was tonally closer to the black, so that makes it a little bit better. But I eventually got the gray to uh, be the right tone or value. I think those words are interchangeable. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in school. Or at least it's been a while since I've taken the intro classes. The intro art classes that teach you these terms. It's actually been like five years since then. Oof. Makes me feel quite old. But anyway, even though I had limited colors, didn't have all the ones that I liked, I eventually had them. Or made them. Work the way I wanted to. That made it a bit more difficult. A bit more of a pain. Kinda glad I have more colors now. I actually bought myself some grays. Since the set I got only had one. So I bought a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch, but... Oh look, my hair. Fantastic. Like I was saying, I bought quite a few. So I shouldn't need any grays. Honestly, don't think I should need any other color now, thanks to Christmas and my kind aunt. I have all the colors of markers I should need for a while, so that's fantastic. Maybe I'll do a little haul video of them. I don't know. We'll see. Be kind of boring, because I'll just have markers. <laughs> anyway, here it is all done. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Bye bye